Ah, spring has sprung in St. John's. Rain, drizzle, and too much fog for golfing. These are definitely the dog days of May on public golf courses everywhere. Once the weather brightens up, though, the boys are ready. The golf clubs are unloaded and they're raring to go. What's this, though? Could it be a case of spring fever? These guys are definitely crazy. Crazy about computer golf. Oh, nice shot. For them, it's a sport that has all the joy and agony of the real thing. Crazy. <laughs> Harvey Spurl and his friends are all avid golfers, but lately they've become addicted to this form of the game. We have a regular foursome that get together every Sunday during the summer months. And uh, as soon as the boys saw out, of course, we had to get together during the winter. They're competitive and very unforgiving, especially when an opponent's ball finds water instead of turf. <laughs> Try it again, Ed. Listen, are you any good at this game or what? A leaderboard keeps track of the score. Judging club selection and wind speed is done with the help of on-screen displays. The hole number three is a par five, and it's uh, 503 yards long. Here's the golfer, and here's the, here's the, look, the direction of the ball. <laughs> this is just about the last session of computer golf for the season. The boys know that it'll soon be time to pick up their bags and play the real game. At the 19th hole, this is Jonathan Crow 